there, my name's Declan and I'm doing a product review on the Phoenix uh, 1000 watt, uh, the 12 volt, uh, 1200 volt amp power inverter. I've purchased this from uh, my generator for a price of $560. Did a little bit of shopping around, they had the uh, best price I could find. Um, my first impressions were it's quite a large unit. Um, I was looking at a Red Arc, which is close to $1000. Um, it's roughly the same footprint, but four centimeters uh, shorter in height. So if size is an issue for you, you may want to consider something a bit smaller. But um, other than that, it's a really good quality feel for the product. Um, it comes just with the battery lugs on this side here. Um, so you have to screw the terminals in for whatever wire you're going to use. I'm planning on using it in a portable sense, so I'm going to have a few different um, applications. So I've gone ahead and wired in a uh, 120 amp Anderson plug on the end so that I can quickly connect it and disconnect it for different uses. Um, so one of those uses that I was planning to uh, do with this inverter is to run my household fridge uh, in the event of a power outage. Um, to do that I've got my portable um, arc power camping box here that's got a 100 amp hour lithium, 100 amp hour lithium ion battery in it. Um, from factory it only comes with a 50 amp hour rated output. Um, with the Anderson on this side and both the battery lugs on this side, they're only rated 50 amps. So I have had to modify the box uh, to include a 120 amp hour, 120 amp, I should say, uh, Anderson plug there for this inverter as the current is not sufficient with 50. Um, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. I'll just set it up so that I can put it on. Again, you sort of see the size of the unit compared to the battery box. Uh, it is quite bulky. Just plug it in here fire it up. Um, one thing I do have to do though is make sure to include a RCD. Um, for my purposes I know that the factory does specify to use the ground on it to an earth circuit. Um, however for my portable needs that's not really practical but as an extra safety measure um, putting an RCBO on the um, output before you connect anything is a really good idea. Um, I picked this one up for $30 from Bunnings this one was close to $100, it's got your traditional circuit breakers type switch there. Um, that'll be better for camping purposes if I'm actually away from home because it's a water rated product as well. So I'll plug this in before I connect the fridge. test the RCBO is working and uh, the household fridge I'm not sure if you can tell but it's all lit up now um, and it's still pumping out cold air as it needs to be so that'll work fine. One other thing I might be doing is if I'm away camping I might decide I want to run a microwave or similar so there's a few other um, potential purposes for me with this product. Um, so I've just quickly wired up the microwave I've got in the kitchen now this, again, also has the RCBO on it, so keeping safety in mind. Especially with a higher power product like a microwave, um, you want to make sure you've got that covered. So it's just fired up. Um, give it a quick test. Make sure it's actually going to do something. Piece of cheese, see if it melts. Now this microwave is a um, combination convection oven and microwave. Uh, it's a thousand watts, so within the specifications for the inverter. It's interesting, I can really hear the inverters running now, compared to the fridge, which is obviously a lower power draw at the time. Uh, the fan's definitely going now to give me that, um, which is a good thing I suppose, keeping it cool. Um, so, here we look now, yep, that's um, well and truly melted. That cheese, ready for licking up and whatever else. So that's probably all I've got to say for the product at the moment. I'm happy with it, everything seems to be going as planned. Um, hopefully I get some good use out camping with it, doing some um, 12 volt stuff as well and um, also in the house when, when power goes out. Thanks for watching my review.